Good morning and welcome to the water boy. Today we're going to be going out to service a Eco Water, um, the Plus series. So that could be the 9, the 11 and the 15. They've all got the same valve which is a three quarter inch rotary valve. Um, the client's complaining they're getting partially soft water. Um, so I'm going to go and have a look. It's pretty straightforward um, valve but we're going to break it down we're going to probably change the seal kits on it because i know it's not been looked at for 10 years and they'll definitely need those seals changing so if you've got the plus series it's three quarter inch valve that could be a 9 11 or a 15 stay tuned because i'm going to show you how to do it so this is a unfamiliar customer um, so what we do when we arrive, we take out any documentation and check the history of that particular softener. And Eco Water used to keep good records, so we've got a really good record of this. And if we actually zoom down um, from like 2006 onwards, you can see that it was actually me what came and did this service on the previous machine. But the machine's been changed now, so we're going to have a look through the data and see what's been happening. First of all, check the hardness level. Um, and... Because they've not been getting soft water, they've exaggerated the hardness setting. It, it should be on 200, but it's on 380. So first things first, let's lower that down to 200 and have a listen to what's going on within the valve. And it's apparent that the sealing kit is not working. So what we're going to do is change all the settings, put it down to how it should be, and then open it up and do the seal and disc kit. As you can see, there's lots of features on the Eco Water, and another one I just want to check is that it is actually set on metering because with this system you can actually have a maximum day override. And sometimes, if people can't get it to work correctly, they set the auto setting to like a three day cycle. Well, we don't want to do that, we want to make it efficient, so we're going to set it on auto as well. So we take the top shroud off and expose all the insides and what I like to do first is I get all the new parts out ready, get them all um, laid out so we know that there's nothing missing. I put silicon grease on all the surfaces because these are moving parts so we don't want to be catching them or sn snagging them. Um, this disc kit here, um, we've got the disc in my hand now, we're going to put the two o-rings on the top. And they are neoprene o-rings, so again, let's put some silicon on them, make sure that they move nice and freely. On the disc, it's got a Teflon coating on the front, and that's the face what runs across the wearing strip of the spider gasket. This is the spider gasket. Let's put some silicon on that. It's called a spider gasket because it looks a bit like a web. And this neoprene gasket gets covered with a wearing strip, which sits on top, and again, silicon grease on there as well prevent any friction and wear we next use the figure 8 o-ring put the silicon on there and then using the excess on the fingers we'll put it around the main o-ring which seals the valve head to the body this is the plunger it's got a spring in it and an o-ring on the top okay so Using a Phillips screwdriver, we take off the two bolts which hold the motor down. This is a DC motor. And these two bolts, when they're removed, you can take away the motor and also the cam gear housing all in one. Underneath it exposes the micro switch which take off and the cam. Using a nut driver, I use a ratchet rather than an electric one because you get to feel how the bolt is when it's undoing. Remove all five of these bolts and the little key is to make sure that that pressure is taken out by turning around the um, cam before you take it off. But remove all those um, bolts 
They're quite long, take a few minutes. Just taking the last one out now and a slight push up on the valve and it will just pop off. So remove all those bits out of it, we'll take the disc out and have a look into the valve head because those two O-rings will be in there lodged. You might just have to prise them out, but just gently prise them out without damaging any of the housing. Take out the plunger, just going to swap that. Also the figure of eight seal, we're going to replace that. And then lastly we take out the spider gasket. If you check the Teflon front on the disc of the one we've taken out, just casually turn tilt it towards the light. You can see little score marks on top of it. That means that the water has been leaking and you're not going to get that permanent hardness. Okay, let's reverse everything and put all the bits back in now. Starting with the spider gasket and the wearing strip. Pop the figure of eight gasket in and the plunger, making sure the spring's located underneath. Pop the tension spring on top of the disc and just feed that through into the valve head. And lastly, put the main seal across the top, stretch it across, make sure it gives a good seal. And then carefully place back in its position on top of the valve body. Okay, put the screws on. And if you just turn the screw backwards a little bit, you'll feel it drop into the valve housing. So then work your way around, popping the bolts down and lower them down gradually in a taken in turn so it sits on a level plane. And then once you're happy that that's all down and flat and really tight, again, I use it, do it by hand because a ratchet, electric ratchet, could actually overpower it and damage the threads inside. Pop your cam back on, with your micro switch, your cam cover with the motor and secure with the two bolts again. And there you go. Okay, so we put that machine back into service, did a couple of regenerations to make sure that the seals were moving around correctly and everything seems okay. So that is the quick and easy way of changing a seal and disc kit in a three quarter inch valve in the Eco Water Plus range. Hit the subscribe if you want to see more, put the bell on it as well and then we'll keep you informed when a new video comes along. Stay tuned.